For today's lesson, we are going to learn about materials that float and sink. What materials float and what materials sink? Kids, are you ready? Let's get started. And scramble the following words. The first word is float. The second word is sink. Float means to stay on top. Sink means to fall to the bottom of the water. Now let us observe the floater and the ball. The floater and the ball float. Now, let's do this activity. Watch and learn, kids. The fork sinks. Amazing! The spoon also sinks. The coins sink as well. And how about this nail? The nail sinks. Some things float on top of water. Some things stay submerged part way down and some things sink. Some things sink very fast and some things sink very slowly. An object's shape can affect its ability to float. But some materials float no matter what their shape. Some things float at first but then sink as they absorb water or take on through holes. Now kids, let's do this experiment.
if the density of the object is greater than that of the liquid, the object will sink. And if its density is less than that of the liquid, it will float. I have observed and found out that substances which are less dense than water float, while more dense substances sink. Now let's draw some objects that float and sink. Lastly, let's do this activity. Will it sink or float? Good job, kids! Until next time, goodbye!